Bacon Legs here. Hey everyone! How's it going guys? So tonight we're going to be reacting to some yes. This is a request from a one of our winners for our contest. Yes. We're going to do... Yours is no disgrace. From the Yes album, which is super exciting because from this album, this was the first Yes reaction that we ever did to Starship Trooper. Oh yeah, so, yeah. This uh, album. Yeah, this album. So, so is, this, uh, is this the first album? The first I think yes album. it is, and I think we said oh, this in the last video. No, no, no. The first Yes up. album has like Yes written and like oh, super yeah, 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 handwritten. Right. Yeah. So I guess this is... So this is the Yes album 1971. This is again from Michael Gross. Thank you so much. Uh, congrats. Michael won a third place in our contest. So, you know, and you've been with us forever. Always leave like awesome comments and... Uh, we're just super grateful for everyone for being here. Yes, fans. Um, we just need free will. Yes. So, so check out that video. Uh, but yeah, no, um, let's dive into it. I okay. can't wait. Sounds good. Obviously, we've never listened to this before, nope. unfortunately, but I'm sure it's And we know awesome. very little of Yes. Now, is this the Stephen Wilson? This is not the Stephen Wilson. I don't know. I think when it's Stephen Wilson, it says Stephen oh, Wilson. Oh, you're Romance. right. Okay, but this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. 2003 Romance. Because I don't know what we did that they were like, they must have listened to a Stephen and Wilson. And this has a lot of plays. This is... Well, it's not the first. This yeah. one has more. Yeah, I've seen but all it has good people. Oh, I've heard that song before. See Which all one? good people turn their head. This one. Oh, four. okay. Yeah, I think I, that's I the know. song, unless that's a totally different song. But <laughs> uh, that's name, I mean, I guess, sounds yeah. very familiar. So, Okay, here we go. Yours is No Disgrace, the Yes album, 
So I, I kind of like it went down there. I, I, I could pause. That Do you want to go first? Awesome. I love yes. I <laughs> love this song. I love that it's the first song. What a, like, I have a what, thing for like first song. That's what I wanted to say. What a start. Yeah. It, like puts you in there. You're like. It throws you in and it's like, here we go. Like yeah. we're in for a ride and what a great. Oh my gosh, and you and I said the same thing about the voices. I was closing my eyes and I was like, oh my God. Yeah. And I opened them to tell you about the voices and you were already doing this. So yeah. yeah, that was so cool. They're such a feel good like band, you yeah. know, like they're totally. And totally different from everything else you've heard. This is such I a. I love the keyboard and the guitar yeah. together and how everything just. He's doing like arpeggios oh and gosh. stuff, and I love this I kind love of like. 70s. I was like, I was telling her, and we can't really hear each other, yeah, which is kind of like a bummer. But I was like, this sounds like a theme. This. Oh, I heard that the sci-fi. Yeah. It sounded like almost like Star Wars, you know. Mm -hmm. This is right. way before Star Wars came yeah. out, but it sounded like a, like a theme song to maybe a show or yeah, a movie or yeah. you know uh -huh. it had that feel maybe john williams took some notes from yes mm -hmm, who knows, you know he was a jazz uh good uh player so oh my god but yeah everything that's going on and i love this his voice and how he like kind of like doubles it yeah because it's just one vocalist oh yeah. so i guess he like does two voices he records two voices and then yes yes wonderful or awesome. he uses like a harmonizer i don't know but this is just either magic Absolutely. magic it's magic yeah. on 100 percent. and i can't believe this is 40 years old this I is know. no this is older this oh is 48 right. years old this That's is like insane. music but it, it's not gonna what did i remind no you? it's 40 years old 45 no, no. years old 71 wow we're in 2021 yeah 50 <gasps> years old that's ridiculous. That's awesome. It sounds like music from right now. Like nobody yeah. plays like this. But at the same time, it's so like. It's so new. It it's has so aged 70s. so well. Yeah. But it aged so well. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Because if not, did you rewind it? Yes. A little bit. You did. Yeah. Okay.
so they're good. They're so good. I love them. Oh my god. And and here I thought I knew about music. I mean, <laughs> so so weird because I don't know why my parents didn't. Maybe it was too too out there for them. I think so. Yeah. But they're crazy, man. They're crazy. Like they're hippies. Yeah. I find it very odd that. I don't know why my dad Especially, never played me. Yes, or yeah. like, you know, I mean, he did play me uh, Led Zeppelin. Dire he was a Straits. huge Dire Straits. Um, my mom played me Uriah Heep. Um, she she got me into Floyd. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it was too much. Maybe they were too I think old. So maybe I don't know because, because wow, this was something I loved, and I can hear like. Even the Beatles in this song specifically, so you know, like good. I, had, I hear so much classical influence and in, in jazz in this and every theme because they changed like I don't know maybe ten oh times. Gosh, I know. But I every it. theme is interesting, brings something new to the table. It's not repetitive. No wonder we have bands like like Dream Theater oh, and, yeah. and other bands who are even more progressive than. Yeah. Dream Theater. Mm -hmm. These are like this is the offspring of th this kind of music. Yeah. Like for, for literally, Yes and Genesis are the most progressive bands I've I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Definitely. And I thought I always was afraid of to listen to them because I thought I was going to be disappointed. I was like, it's old music, man. This music is still like kicks everybody's ass. Yes, I agree. Literally, I it's definitely It's crazy agree. because nobody has been able to do this i guess there's bands that we don't know or steven wilson like i mean but look, not even because this is so like reminiscent of that time it's very flower powery it's very mm -hmm. like i love those two voices i, like, I could voices. i could i could hear him on repeat yes this the thing yes. like for 24 hours yeah. you would not like i would never get tired of his voice yeah i it's love so the voices inviting. i love the when he put in uh when they put an acoustic guitar um i i love the keyboards are just amazing and the bass everybody's a virtuoso the guitar player the keyboard player do just like you know like me messing the, the drummer i don't even know i can't not even know what to yeah. begin then the everything boom, is the so bass amazing. was so loud and was so there it's such a great band yes. i'm so like bummed out that i'm like so old just discovering this <laughs> and you guys are so lucky because i mean imagine in your 20s or in your teens to listen to this mm, I, no wonder you become an I artist know, or a writer or and a then, musician and then you're like that person who's like man nothing's as good as this you know? well like, yeah because <laughs> I mean, I can't well, listen to the listen to the bull bs that comes out today yeah it's, it doesn't even scratch the certain what surface yeah. nothing yeah there's nothing nothing to scratch i know you know it's disappointing it must be disappointing to be from that time to be in your 20s in 1971 and listen to music from the 90s, you're like, come on, really? Yeah, that's the best you the can The 90s do. must have been so I mean, disappointing. Every era has I its mean, thing. I know, yes, we like, like Pearl Grunge, Jam. Yeah. <laughs> we like uh, Soundgarden. It's some good music. I but just, I but just compared, learned to appreciate it that this is 70s. I love there was so like, much more this creative. experimental. Yes, very like they were not afraid to go out there and, uh -huh. and rebel against. And like put all these different sounds and like right, psychedelic. Because, and they were like, like they they were not like afraid to play this, and they were like very highly talented. And they were like, well, I don't care if it's played on the radio. Exactly. You know? And then it's, unfortunately we get "Owner of a Lonely Heart," which yes. was a radio hit, mm -hmm. and it's literally the only song that I knew. Which is sad. Me too, actually. It's because that. that's when they went full out radio. Well, and the good people one that I mentioned earlier. I guess. But like, but it's wow. just like it's Thank the same you. story. Thank we can, you. I could talk times. about this for hours. Yes. Maybe we should. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should do like a live stream to talk about seventies music. Yes. Uh, and have you like all on, you know, and uh, that would be fun. That definitely would be fun. But Michael, like, literally, I can't thank you enough. This was so awesome. Um. It's just so great, like, when you guys that listen to us get, like, a kick out of, like, Insane. recommending things to us because Insane. we get a kick out of, like, oh, my gosh, where has this been? We love music, but we just stay, each of us, in our comfort zones. Yeah. Like, we literally would play the same stuff that we already knew 
and how sad. And then wait for the new. <laughs> instead, like like for example, I was like, well, I'm gonna wait for the new Dream Theater album. Yeah. Well, I guess in in, in a year, and then I was like all excited. Instead of like, hey, I'm gonna dig around, it, but it's also it was so difficult for yeah. us because there was the music was just not there, and then. In the download era, like in the 2000s, mm -hmm. I was already too too into my own stuff. Right. I was not even listening to progressive music. I was just listening to jazz, jazz, jazz fusion. fusion. I was downloading all these like bands like Weather Report and you know Scott Henderson's Travel Tech, Alan Holdsworth. I was already away, and yeah. I'm so happy that I'm getting back into back? this kind yes, of music. Yes, I I agree. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for all of your support. We love doing this um, and we hope to see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>